Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the computer simulations for the Watershed Dynamics for 21st Century Learners project. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually scroll down the page all the way to chapter 6 which is on modeling and management. And here you have several resources uh, with the Watershed Dynamics curriculum from NSTA Press. There's all kinds of worksheets for students that you can get here. There's a flipped lesson and I'll have some videos in here also. And the main, uh, there are two main modeling programs you're going to use. The first one is the rainfall simulation and the second one is land use and uh, eutrophication. What we're going to look at is this rainfall simulation. So if you go there, and it's going to bring you to this site here. And there are, you can run the model here, you can stop the model, and you can manipulate the variables. Additionally, there are two other really great features. Uh, and this model was developed by one of the authors of the Watershed Dynamics uh, through NSTA Press authors, uh, William Carlson from Penn State. So in this model that uh, Dr. Carlson created, you can actually manipulate what day it rains. So right here it's raining. Uh, it looks like, you know, here is three inches. So this is about one and a half inches, this is about one inch. So let's say there's uh, about, let's say one and a half inches of rain on the fourth day. And we hit OK. Well, we're not going to model, model the run, model it yet. What we're going to look at is this allows you to predict what the stream flow is going to be like. This is awesome for students because what you can do as a student is you can say, okay, before I even run the model, what do I think the stream flow will act like? Well, I know that it's gonna have some type of stream flow, and then on the fourth day, it's gonna increase, right? Because it rains. So I say, okay, well, how much is it gonna rain? And you kind of draw a curve of what you think it's gonna be like. Is it gonna rain and stay at a constant height? What is this, how is that gonna affect over the next a uh, few days and I think oh, it's gonna go back down of course and maybe after those days oh, it's gonna go back to normal so what's how much is it gonna rain and students can manipulate this by clicking and dragging hit OK so that's my prediction this is how much I'm gonna say it's raining and right now this is our farmland so we can compare all this with different environmental land use conditions so let's run our model and here we go. So this line here is our rainfall. This is what we predicted would happen. And this is actually how much. So what's nice is actually, even though my quantity is way off, the shape of my curve is pretty similar. So now I can say, okay, uh, let's try to get that prediction way down. Maybe it's going to be more like it's going to be more like this and then I have the students go down and see okay so is that more like it and I run my model again and oh I have it raining before it's or have the stream flow increase before it even started raining so I have to change that and you can change your model in different ways you can also manipulate how much forest there is uh, but if I try to run this you'll notice that it has to add up to 100% so however you manipulate this it has to add up to 100% so if it's 66% farm uh, and actually let's make this less 45% farm and the rest being urban so 55% you can just click in here and add 55 run it and see how that changes your model so uh, there's a worksheet to go with this from the watershed dynamics curriculum and this is a great way to introduce students to modeling and complex systems hope this helps